Hi, welcome back to VK Online Education Training Course. The theme of this unit is flag. What is a flag? You can think of it as a kind of container to store some data. And we use these data mainly to make the first condition judgment for two different uses. First, we can do right or wrong condition according to the content in the data. Second it can save some state selected by the user. For example, I have a matrix. I can use it to store the user selected input 1, 2, 3 and 4. Next, let's create a new flag. First, move the mouse to the library icon. Next, select the tab of the flag. There is a plus sign under this to add a new flag. And below, it will list the flags you have created so far. Next, we can press the plus sign. Here we can see. The first is to set the name of the flag. And below, you can see that we have two different types. The first, is on and off, which is what we just talked about. It is used to judge whether the condition is right or wrong. The second, is numbers. And, there are range in the numbers. You can choose between ASCII decimal integer, and hex value. That depends on the control command you will use, so you have to choose the correct one. Here, we first set up the first flag. I named it switch. Then, I choose the type, on, or off. You can also choose its default state here. Then, we press OK. Here, you can see. We have just created a new flag. You can check its name. As well as its preset values. Next, we will create a second one. I named it number. Next, I choose the type of number. I choose its range to be from 0 to 10. Then, I choose integer type, and the default is 0. Press OK. Our new flag is complete. That is all for this topic. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.